I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but uh, I'm in love with your son. <laughs> yeah. You guys have a lot in common. You seemed pretty clued in on what was bothering him. Uh, I guess I uh, can relate to some of the uh, OCD type tendencies. Sometimes when things get too out of control, I like to focus on the small things, like cleaning. You probably haven't noticed. I'm very subtle about it. Oh, very. And then there's the uh, lucky hat. Sean gave it to me when I started chemo. I wore it to every test, every screening. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think I give it more credit for my recovery than the doctors. <laughs> That's not something I admit very often. Um. I have something I want to admit to you, too. You've been so open with me. I want to tell you the real reason why I've been having those nightmares. I wanted to tell you, I just, I didn't, I didn't know how. And the reason why I can't tell you is because of what happened when I was, when I was in Iraq. We, we were clearing an old hospital that had been taken over by enemy snipers. And the place seemed deserted, but I, I knew better than to trust that. Then I heard a gunshot, and I whipped around as fast as I could, and I fired back. <laughs> You only get like a split second to make a decision like that. The sound that I heard, it was not, it wasn't a gunshot. It wasn't, a, it, it was, he was just, a, he was just a kid. He was barely older than Liam. He shouldn't have been there. He was the wrong place at the wrong time, but it doesn't change the fact that now there's a mother out there right now who doesn't have her son because of me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, <laughs> <laughs>